returning to the Coins Alert channel. I hope you're all doing well. Hi, I'm Rich, and today I'll be making yet another video all about XRP. As promised, I wish you all a wonderful day no matter where you are in the globe. We will be discussing XRP today. Here we are just above 63 cents on the one-day chart. XRP had a solid day, and it was widely seen that XRP was seeing price appreciation while Bitcoin was experiencing price declines. Despite Bitcoin's recent drop below $66,000, alt season has not yet begun. We may thank this XRP pre-AM launch pump for it. After the AM becomes live, many believe that XRP's price will continue to rise until falling again. Do you have any opinions on this? Put it in the comment section down below. There is no need to wait long for an update because the AM is online today. A lot of my films have been devoted to the AM and its potential for passive revenue generation. Many commenters expressed a complete lack of interest in using it due to the high danger of losing your XRP. According to Polly, such was never the original intention. Those in positions of influence over engagement often fail to understand the AM's contribution to the XRP ledger and its effect on the price of XRP. When I finally show you how, that's the finest part. The value of TVL can be changed at any time. Investors can access liquidity using AMs. In this situation, the money XRP is locked. Thus, the more XRP is locked up, the less supply there is and the greater demand there is, similar to how Uniswap is for Ethereum, PancakeSwap is for Binance Coin, and the AM is identical. Thanks to its placement on native layer one, rather than a layer two project, the XRP system's AM is fantastic. As a result, XRP is in high demand. You can skip getting a Uniswap or PancakeSwap ticket. A common claim from XRP believers is that the cryptocurrency will provide passive income. However, this is not necessarily the case. Participating also carries the risk of short-term financial loss. Although the AM poses little risk, according to David Schwartz, it is not without it. Some of your XRP could go missing. To top it all off, the XRP record is not up for grabs, as I mentioned before. Identifying market participants and potential AM users is the first step in expanding on this. The significance of these global monetary polls will become clear to you. He seems to be implying that XRP's price will rise eventually regardless of demand. Neither will the majority of retailers. In the future, we will have more opportunities to earn passive income. A lot less danger is involved with that. One is currently under construction on Flare. We now know the secret behind Sol's excellent performance and deafening volume. This occurred because David Schwartz, better known as Joel Katz, was integrating an AMBOT-like XRP system into Solana. After spending two weekends on it, trading bot developer David Schwartz claims to have created an algorithm that closely mimics the XRP ledger's AM algorithm. Centralized platforms are where the bot trades. Here is how it deals with Solana. There were many who pointed out, well, look at what happened with Solana. The future of the XRP AM cannot be predicted using other blockchains at this time. It pales in comparison to the events surrounding XLM. And the answer will be revealed today. I agree with the general consensus that we won't move above $10. I believe that XRP situation will only improve with time, according to the AM. In the long run, it will be worth more. However, your opinion matters. Submit it for review in the box provided. Believe in tangible assets, the most significant black swan occurrence that could impact our company. Black swan events are commonplace in the crypto trading world. Now let's talk about white swan incidents. Let this sink in here in the US. If a market system bill were to pass, and I think it would be one of. The most significant white swan event that could occur in our industry is probably the regulatory community reaching a consensus on the nature of specific tokens, their proper functioning and the requirements to become an ATS venue, an important key in my opinion. Fidelity BlackRock, and other major market participants and managers should back a market structure bill. I believe that when that happens, this narrative involving tangible goods will truly begin to gain momentum. No, it hasn't. Um, in addition, I think this year will be the year that the regulations are defined. There will be crypto regulations soon, I'm sure. Many will eventually come to terms with it because of that. It will transpire in a flash. People will keep saying that the United States is slipping behind, but I don't believe that's the case. This is why the SEC is in the news so much lately. In fact, you can see their efforts to label ETH as a security unfolding before your eyes. However, that will occur repeatedly. However, a definite path ahead will be apparent shortly. In my opinion, we will still comply with MECA regulations. Banks are being under increasing pressure from the EU to accept rapid payments. Listen, the European Union is experiencing a period of rapid change at the moment. The European Council thus established a new regulation on February 26, 2024. Guidelines for immediate compensation. This paves the way for immediate euro payments to individuals and businesses within the European Union and the European Economic Area. Plus, the alarm is going off. The European Union has set a timetable for compliance, yet some would argue that it is unrealistically optimistic. The rules will only be made lawful in three weeks. 
The European Union has designated April 8, 2024, as the beginning date for rapid payments. All member nations must comply by January 9, 2025. They are making great strides, as I mentioned before. Given my expectation that the European Union would proceed with Ripple and XRP, this may serve as our initial exposure to the potential of cryptocurrency for instantaneous financial transactions, also via third parties that partner with Ripple, if not directly. However, Lagarde has previously spoken at length on Ripple and XRP. Additionally, the solar eclipse and this event are happening on the same day. The end of the world, according to many, is about to come today. There is no way I can view it. I propose we take it easy, enjoy the eclipse, and carry on with our day, very much like any other day. Things always take place on the day they are introduced, in case you didn't know. Not a single thing. April 8th, in my opinion, will also be a blank. With the digital euro already in motion, the EU is continuing forward. They are proceeding with real-time payouts. They would also like to rid themselves of cash simultaneously. It is now against the law to transfer anonymous funds to custodian-managed cryptocurrency wallets, according to new anti-money laundering regulations passed by the European Parliament. But watch how they use the cash. Any company that takes over 3,000 euros in cash from an unknown source will be breaking the law. No payment in cash will be accepted for. Commercial transactions over 10,000 euros. The digital euro is being imposed on everyone. I also monitor events overseas because I anticipate their impact on the United States. You can count on the arrival of the digital dollar. As a heads up, X can now legally transmit and receive payments in 22 states across the US. On the US market, who else has an abundance of money transfer licenses? experience it. Do you recall my previous statements? In the future, XRP will operate on those licenses, and that is a monumental feat. The United States will be visited by it. Still, there are many who argue that is incorrect. Purchasing all those licenses by Ripple without any intention of using XRP is a waste of money. This is completely illogical. People will make a ton of money during this bull run, but it might be their only chance to do so. The golden age is coming to an end soon. The general public believes that our cycle will be quite typical. Many will purchase XRP all at once, but after its first surge in value, the price will fall and the market will remain stagnant for at least another two, three, or four years. It has already begun. People desire major setbacks, but I don't think we'll see them. At this moment, it is widely believed that XRP will most certainly hit $27. X is currently encircled by that amount like a magic circle. People who watch the charts are also expecting for an XRP price of $27 in this run. After that, though, they all say the same thing will go back down to around $2 and $3. There is no way I can view it. The United States, like the rest of the globe, is rapidly entering the digital age if current trends are any indication. Online funds and transfers are something we're aiming for with all our might. Not only that, but crypto is now subject to regulation. That means that most of the humorous coins will be gone. Any coin that isn't useful or has a use case will be gone. Where is all that cash going? It's going to talk about these few cryptocurrencies that can be used in the actual world. In what way will the prices of these cryptocurrencies drop all the way back to where they are now? It's not likely to happen. Not until usefulness starts. I believe that time is closing. Anyone who is waiting to put money into crypto is likely to lose out. That's what I think will happen. What do you think? Put it in the comment section down below. For now though, you need to be patient and hopeful. Let's get rich together. That being said, I'm going to end this film. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all of you. See you in the next one. Good night.